Well, uh, with Disney and Pixar have partnered with NASCAR to, to bring our movie Cars 3 into the NASCAR circuit. So there's going to be a lots of uh, different things coming across, you know, uh, rolling out in the next uh, couple of weeks. But um, we've got life-size McQueen and Cruise. Life-size McQueen and Cruise, and they're going to be at most of the races on the NASCAR circuit this year for fans to come out get their picture taken with and um, I think it's it's a, it's a treat to see people's face light up when they actually see a full-size character you know that they um, that they've grown up with today we had a press conference to announce our partnership between Disney Pixar and NASCAR and we unveiled some life-size characters here for everyone's pleasure uh, but we also had a, quite a few drivers and other NASCAR personalities here because they're doing cameos in the film you know, everything from, uh, you know, Daryl Cartra and um, uh, Jeff Corbett, you know, to, to brand new drivers, you know, NASCAR's current next generation drivers with uh, Bubba Wallace and, and, and Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney and, and Daniel Suarez. I still haven't accepted that it happened because who gets the chance to be part of a Pixar movie? And not only just a Pixar movie, but Cars. Cars. Everybody knows Cars. I was actually telling Brian, the director, that um, after I got the job, I realized that Cars is everywhere. It starts sticking out at you. I go to the dollar stores, it's there, like anywhere. And so for me to be part of such a successful and amazing franchise is something that I never thought would happen, and I'm very, very grateful. Like, I appreciate it so much. I still don't think it's hit me. Seeing the car is a little, um, it's a little emotional because I keep having this joke with the Pixar people that I don't think the movie's real. So like to actually see it in real life kind of, it's so, it's, can you imagine if you went somewhere, if you went to your favorite store and there's a mannequin that looks like you and you're like, uh, this is not me, but it is me. That's exactly how I feel with Cruz. And like, I don't mean to brag, but she looks pretty cool. So I think I look really pretty as a car. I mean, I'm just saying that, but spunky and really motivational and just like strong. Well, for me, it's just like a dream because when I was a kid, well, I'm still a little kid, but when I was younger, I was a huge fan of cars. Uh, in my house in Mexico, in my mom's house, I have pillows, I have remote control cars, I have I have actually a lot, a lot of cars, you know, the big cars, like hundreds of cars of all the movie. I'm like a huge fan. So when I got the opportunity to do this, I didn't think twice to say, yes, I'm in it. <laughs> yeah, I follow up, Daniel. I don't have much merchandise as he does, but I just remember growing up and watching it um, and staying connected with it now that, you know, we're so involved in the NASCAR sport and the Cars 3 is coming about. You see it every every tweet, every social page it's all about. So it's, it's really cool that we're uh, actually a part of it. I uh, have my couple lines that are in the movie. So um, I think what's really special is my nephew, he's three. He's still trying to understand, understand everything. So I'm going to sit down with him and watch Cars 1, Cars 2. And then when Cars 3 comes out, I'll be like, hey, that's me that you're here. That'll be fun. It's just so well done. Everything is so. Uh you guys are, are just so perfectionist, and everything's gonna be a certain way, and it's gonna be, and, and you have fun doing it. Uh, and uh, particularly, you know, whether you're out in Richmond or you're in a studio somewhere else, it's just a lot of fun to be around the Pixar folks. Yeah, I mean, it all started with a conversation that I had with John Laster for Cars 2. Um, you know, I. I uh, was hoping to, to have a part in, in, in that movie, and then he came to me and he said, I've got an idea. We've got a Corvette, I'm thinking Jeff Corvette. And when I first heard that, it just blew my mind. I mean, he's so creative, right? And his team is unbelievable. And I just couldn't believe that, like, a day be, the day before we were having a conversation, the next day, he's got a, this amazing character name. And so just to be in the Cars 2 movie was, was a thrill. My kids loved it. They're huge fans of, of Cars. And, and really all the Pixar Disney movies. So to be in this one again, you know, and there's a, a, obviously a huge cast of, of NASCAR personalities and voices that are going to be in this, uh, which I'm thrilled to be a part of. 
this is sort of like one of the first press conferences where we've been able to see and hear from the voices that, uh, that are going to play some of the characters. And we've got you know veteran drivers who were a part of Cars 1, uh, but also a few from Cars 2. And now this young group of drivers uh, that are going to be in Cars 3. And I think that's giving you a little bit of a hint of what you're going to see in Cars 3. Um, you know, Lightning McQueen now is a veteran. He was the young up-and-coming driver, now he's a veteran. And, you know, to, to go from being that young um, sort of new star to being now, now recognized and respected as that veteran, but now interacting with the young drivers reminds me a lot about my own career and a lot of us that have been a part of the sport. But here's, uh, here's a, a young group of drivers that are going to make their mark in NASCAR and also in this movie. Well, you know, uh, Cars 1, uh, I was in it, and uh, my wife, Linda, his mother was in it. So, you know, getting a deal of, of having Cars 3 and getting our son in the thing, then uh, it, we're getting the whole family involved in it. Yeah, I, I think for, uh, for me, um, obviously my sisters, everybody had kids, my nieces and nephews, they grew up with Mr. The King. Uh, and, and just for the record, that's what we always called him when we were growing up, too. So uh, I think the, the exciting part is, like he said, he was in it, my mother was in it, uh, and now in Cars 3, then I get, have an opportunity to be in it. So it's pretty exciting to be a part of this franchise. I remember taking my kids to the premiere of Cars 1 at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and they were six and seven. And of course, a lot of people we knew were in the movie, and they thought that was a really, really big deal. So my daughter said, why aren't you in the movie? I said, well, because I came to watch it with you. And that was, uh, that was a pretty good answer for them. Um, but it's great now that they're 16 and 17 uh, for them to be able to see this and, and for me to have just, just a tiny part in, in what's just a great storytelling experience. Um, Cars won is just so much more about life than it is about automobiles. Um, and now to bring the whole story full circle because they know Jeff Gordon and they've seen what has gone through Jeff's career arc right up until his final race. And the whole idea that there's, boy, there's just a whole bunch of young kids that are fast and they're fearless like my son wants to be. So. It's great to see all that develop, and I can't wait to see it all develop on screen. To me, being able to be on stage with all those stars and legends of the sport, and then, then the future legends as well, and to see the cars coming to life and the, the things that we've talked about with Brian and with Jay from the technical side, it's just amazing to me how the whole thing is put together. Now here it, here it really is, and it's happening. So I'm, I'm as excited as if I was racing here again. I play Ray Reverham, and I am uh, I'm not, not, I'm not totally a bad guy, but, but I play Storm's crew chief. And it's really neat because Brian Fee, Fee, Brian Fee, the way he got me to do it, he said, I want you to act like you're talking to Jeff Gordon just like you're used to. So a little bit of my old New Jersey accent came out, but it got really exciting because in my mind I was talking to Jeff again, but it, it, was, uh, it was Storm. The press conference for Disney Pixar's Cars 3, which I am so excited to be in, when they called me and asked me about this role and, and becoming part of the Pixar family in, in Cars 3, a movie that I've not only watched Cars 1 and Cars 2 a million times because I have twin seven-year-old boys, but to think about myself being in the next movie and, and having those bragging rights as a mommy, it's, um, it's incredible. And then to stand there with all of these amazing people who have been such influential uh, factors in NASCAR, and now we're all in this movie that's going to be so much fun. It's been, it's been a cool day.